Welcome everyone to the Plug and Chug series for Math 114. This is section 12.3 on the dot product. And hopefully you guys have watched the video, uh, the intro video to the Plug and Chug series. I should have titled it Video Zero, explaining why I call this the Plug and Chug series and uh, what you guys can look forward to in these videos. And so in section 12.3, then I'm going to cover three things, I think, after concepts, projection, and work. And these should be three very short videos. So uh, let's get down to it then. All right. So in these first few videos, we're going to see a lot of book problems because um, it's, it's honestly not many test questions are written over these. And so uh, I'm more concerned with the, uh, the, the book problems here. So... All right, so let's go through then in this video, we're talking about the abstract concept first, which is 12317 in your textbook. Uh, as of 2017, this was Godzilla. I don't know about fall 2018, probably still Godzilla. And so this should be in Godzilla. And this is the problem then. Um, so there's a figure and uh, it looks like V1 plus V2 and V1 minus V2 are orthogonal okay um, and it asks you is this a mere coincidence or are there circumstances in which we may expect uh, the sum of two vectors to be orthogonal to the difference so essentially we want to show when is uh, v1 plus v2 and v1 minus v2 uh, orthogonal so i guess this r uh, right here doesn't make any sense. So when is v1 plus v2 and v1 minus v2 orthogonal? And in the book, they have um, they have like a green vector. This is v1 minus v2, and then they got like a blue vector. This is v1, and this is v2, uh, or this is negative v2. And then here you got oh yeah, that's that's not good. Uh, this is positive v2 right here, and then here's v1 plus v2. Okay, and so. We want to see if v1 plus v2 and v1 minus v2 are orthogonal. And so what does orthogonal mean? Orthogonal means that the angle between them is going to be a 90 degree angle, right? They're going to be perpendicular to each other. And how do we show this is true? Well, we want to uh, do the following, right? So how do we know two vectors are orthogonal? And we know two vectors are orthogonal when their dot product, right, is zero. So what do we want to do? Well, that means I want to dot then. I want to take the dot product of V1 plus V2 and V1 minus v, V2. And I want to see when that is zero. So let's take the dot product of V1 plus V2 dotted with V1 minus V2. Okay. And note, V1 and V2, right? They're separate vectors. And in your textbook then, uh, in, let's see, I'm using a different PDF. But in the 12.3 example page, uh, right, af right, before, right after example three, there's uh, properties of the dot product, right? And you'll see then that uh, the dot product is distributive, right? Like we, we think it is. So we just foil this guy out and we actually get v1 dot v1, all right? Uh, that's the first. And then outer becomes minus v1 dot v2, all right? Inner is plus v2 dot v1 and last is v2 dot minus v2 dot v2 all right so we foil it out and this is what we get and notice that the dot product uh for the dot product v1 dot v2 and v2 dot v1 they're the same thing right so since i got a minus here and got a plus here they're going to cancel each other out and so this is going to equal then uh v1 dot v1 minus v2 dot v2 Okay, and then going back to the properties of the dot product, and we then see that v1 dot v1, v1 dot v1 is the magnitude of v1 squared, all right? And that's property number four. Then v2 dot v2 is going to be v2 squared. And remember, we want this dot product to equal zero, and so if we carry these equal zero out, down to the bottom, we got the magnitude of v1 squared minus the magnitude of v2 squared is equal to zero. And then we see that magnitude of v1 squared is equal to the magnitude of v2 squared by moving 
that over to the right hand side. And if we take the square root of both sides, we'll see that the magnitude of V1 is equal to the magnitude of V2. So what does this mean? This means that two vectors, the sum of two vectors, right, V1 plus V2, and the difference of two vectors, uh, V1 minus V2, this red guy and this green guy are going to be orthogonal if and only if V1, the magnitude of V1 is uh, e equal to the magnitude of V2, okay? And actually, not if and only if, but th these two guys, this guy and this guy, are going to be orthogonal if the magnitude of V1 is equal to the magnitude of V2, okay? And so that's how you do it. And what, what, what are the important things to point out in this video? Um, you're, the important thing is that this might seem weird, foiling, uh, you know, vectors out uh, with this dot product notation. Uh, you'll get used to it. Again, we're allowed to do this because the dot product is distributive. Uh, that's uh, property number three in the properties of the dot product. And so, yeah, you can just, you don't actually have to know what V1 is. Like, I don't have to give you explicit V1, uh, you know, coordinates. I don't have to say V1 is three, five, three, for example. Uh, I can just leave V1 like this, and I can just take the dot product like this. And so, if we really wanna see this um, be true, we can, uh, you know, come up with an example. So I'm, I'm doing this on the spot. So let's say V1 then uh, is equal to what? Let's say V1 is equal to one, negative three, four, okay? And then V2 is equal to uh, negative two, five, and then, oh God, uh, I needed this. Oops, okay, so their magnitudes have to be the same. What is this? 26, that's 14, and this guy has to be then, I don't want that to be. Let's do, ah, I see, negative one, five, zero, okay? So let's say V1 is that and V2 is this. And so um, what's V1 plus V2 is equal to zero, two, four. And then V1 minus V2 is equal to, uh, well, one minus negative one is two, and then negative three minus five is negative eight, and then four minus zero is four, right? And so then what is this guy dotted with the bottom guy, well, that's gonna be zero, two, four, dotted with two, negative eight, four, and we see this is uh, zero minus 16 plus 16, which is zero. And so down here is a numerical example, and up here is the abstract example on when uh, V1 plus V2 and V1 minus V2 are orthogonal, okay. So I actually lost track of myself I said, what are the takeaways from this video? Again, the first takeaway is gonna be this. Um, you can just abstractly uh, dot vectors with each other. That might not seem too uh, too comfortable with uh, for you, but you'll get used to it. And the second is leveraging uh, the, the properties of dot product. And this right here, V1 dot V1 equals to uh, the magnitude of V1 squared. This property is super duper important it'll come up a lot when you deal with the dot product. And so that's, that's to keep in mind. And in the next video, then we're gonna talk about projection and I guess angles as well, which uh, uses then the other very important dot product property.